my little boy's room is really starting to take shape. But we have such a long way to go. Building and designing two different homes within 12 weeks is just complete madness. Like, no one does that. This is 2 in 12. For Hudson's room, which is my three-year-old son, we're planning on doing a beautiful loft bed. So that means he'll be sleeping up high and that frees up all the floor space underneath for playing. It'll be about cute artwork, cute toy storage, and then fun linen. Next door for the investment property, I'm going to style it as it was a girl's room and I found this really cute hubby house-shaped bed. I'll be accessorizing it with beautiful linen and artwork. We've got a robe going there, and I'm going to try and bring the aircon through this room and potentially drop it through the floor to get downstairs. The building is very high, very narrow, so we're trying really hard to just anywhere we possibly can get as much of this ply bracing on to stop the building from having any movement like this. It's pretty hectic on site because there's 10,000 people and they're all asking me questions and it's all happening at the same time. So yeah, pretty stressful morning to be honest. It's week five, we're standing in Hudson's room. The one piece of furniture I've chosen is Hudson's bed from House of Orange. Have I chosen anything else? No. So we're gonna do Luxaflex blinds from Besco. Oh, that's the block out there. That's the block out behind it. Okay, cool. I love working with Catherine. I feel like we complement each other a lot in terms of what she likes, what I like, and she doesn't beat around the bush. Did you know that we're wallpapering that wall? They're like, four foot by two foot, the sheet sizes. That's gonna be like, such an awesome feature. What's in here? What's in here, brother? <laughs> <laughs> I love designing kids' rooms. They're so much fun to work on because you can throw everything at it. But the number one rule is, you've got to design for the kids, not for the parents. From our end, we're finished. It's just up to Catherine now to put the final touches on with her styling. Sticking with the coastal theme, I've started with some beautiful neutral bed linen, but I'm going to lay it with some lovely soft pinks to give it a bit of sparkle. And for the final touch, try adding some artificial greenery for a little bit of fun. Hudson's room is finished and I'm so happy with the result. So when I'm designing a kids room, I think it's fun to choose something that they are really interested in and then that forms your concept. So for me, it was animals. The wallpaper, I've got artwork over there, you know, his sheets. This little table from the little interior is probably the sweetest table I've ever seen and he just loves this little space because he can sit down and play. So I'm super happy with the way this room turned out. I got it done in a nick of time. I love the beautiful bed from this little love, gorgeous bedside table from H&D Designs. This room is about how you feel when you walk into the space and I just really love how it turned out. Catherine has done so well with the styling in this place. It looks incredible. To see Hudson really happy with his room is the best feeling in the world. I'm standing in the kitchen of my forever home. I'm so excited to finally be here. We're moving so fast, our engineers and designers can't keep up. I have just been bottling it up. Sorry, I can't believe I'm writing this out. It has turned out exactly how I wanted to. I'm so excited by it.